Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. If you can't take the pain, you don't deserve the gain. So AMC, we end the day at $24.17, guys, down over 1% in the after hours. Pretty much doing what we had expected. Like I said this morning in the pre-market, I believe that was a bull trap. And far as what we seen during lunchtime and in the uh in the power hour, when we seen those little spikes looking as if we was ready to take off. But it was just little, you know, little traps, guys, just to bring us right back down in the end of the day, closing near support, which like I told you guys, if we close near resistance, that give you kind of an indication that we could possibly about to uptrend the next day. Closing near support give us an indication that we could close a lower, guys. We could come down the next day because we're so vulnerable being already at support near the close. So AMC is shutting down hedge funds, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. People that call themselves smart money, people that's been in business for over almost two decades, 18 years long. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Anchorage Capital Closes After Betting Against AMC Stock, guys. Anchorage Capital Group LLC has announced it is shutting down due to significant losses. So this is not going to be the only one, guys. This is why I tell you guys, I believe AMC is going to go down in the history and many, many people is going to be mad that they didn't either participate in it or they sold out too quickly or too early. And that's not the overhype of anything, guys, because I'm going to ride it, you know, to the end, however it comes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. The hedge fund is closing after 18 years and returning the $7.4 billion it manages back to clients. The credit, the credit fund Anchorage Capital Partners is suspending clients' ability to get their money back. Hedge funds, hedge funds Citadel Securities is facing a similar issue with their clients, preventing them from withdrawing unless they pay a heavy fee. So you know Citadel is also on the you know the losing end of the stick. They being short AMC, so they as well might be one of the ones that get shut down due to significant losses so let's go ahead and continue guys and i told you guys it will happen you know they will start covering and they all would you know the ones that can't bear the losses they will start collapsing one by one the ones with the least amount of the assets they will start collapsing one by one guys the ones with the least amount of capital the least amount of assets that have to cover due to you know, being margin call and they can't cover because they don't have the assets to liquidate or the capital on hand. They would then be forced to either, you know, shut down their business or go over and borrow with a line of credit if they is good for it at that time. Because a lot of people know these hedge funds is going to be very vulnerable if this thing starts to squeeze and they will be you know looking for money looking for favors looking for friends and buddies and those people might not might not have their bite because they're going to be so far and deep in a hole guys so they feel as if they would not be able to be repaid if that makes sense like they not even want to be able to have that credit like they do now right now they get too far in the hole people don't even think they're going to be able to you know get back above water like you ain't even gonna be able to get back on your feet to even pay me back the amount of money that you're going to need if this thing go how the apes want it to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, guys. Continue. This hedge fund was betting against AMC and put options. A put option allowed traders to profit from the decline of a stock. These contracts have an expiration date by which a trade settles if it meets at or below the strike of the bid. The put buyer's entire the put buyer's entire investment can be lost if the stock doesn't decline below the strike. This is how hedge funds such as Citadel Securities have lost billions all year. Retail investors continue to buy and hold AMC stock, meaning short sellers don't stand a chance against the community supporting the century-old theater chain. And with AMC Entertainment continuously innovating with crypto NFTs and licensing, license agreements, the company is in in impenetrable 
So guys, this is, you know, this is solid news. This is great news to hear. Far as we know, this is a movement far as AMC and the apes in the community. And what we wanted to do since the beginning of this movement was hand it to the people that's been, you know, shitting us since the beginning of the time. We wanted to, you know, let them taste their own medicine, give them a taste of it. And they actually is, guys. Who would have thought that a joke, a meme, a whole group of dumb money, dumb people will come together. That's what they say. Will come together and actually shut down companies that been around for two decades, companies that have billions of dollars and other people money and plus they own. Who would have thought we could have done something like that? Guys, we already know this is just the beginning. I'm glad to be a part of this. I'm glad to have put my money in AMC and to see it all the way out to the end, regardless of what happened, guys. Because I know it's, you know, it's millions of other ways to make bread. I wasn't, you know, I'm like I told you guys from the beginning, don't just be dependent on AMC to make you a millionaire or to make you a lot of money. I already have, you know, it's multiple. A lot of people like to play in A and B for getting this 25, 24 other alphabets that you can plan for. Meaning, you know, don't just start with one plan. If AMC don't work out, it's a lot of other opportunities in the market or outside the market that we could capitalize on, guys, that we're going to be, you know, talking about and having our discussions. So always keep your, you know, your Yo, be diversified and keep your options open to more opportunities that could come your way and just be prepared for them. So you already know that's all I got for this video, guys. Just want to give you guys a quick update on that and let you guys know let's continue to do what we've been doing. So I already know, add me on Instagram. I love y'all. We out and God bless y'all. We gone.